everybody. Welcome to Erndale's. My name is Dale and this is my Erndale's YouTube channel and I am very happy to see you this morning. It's a little bright in here today. It's a little shadowy. I have, I went around the studio trying to find the best place to take a video and I don't know this if this is it or not, but I'm not going to move anymore. So it's been a very busy week. I have been doing all kinds of different things. I've finished a few projects, but I'm not even going to show you anything like that. I'll, that'll all wait for the next video because I have started something totally different uh, that I want to share with you. Back before Christmas, I was surfing on the internet and I came across, um, uh, it's called Hendrick's Hair. I don't know. You might have seen it. It's she has a Facebook page and she has an Instagram account and Hendrick's hair is a very large rabbit that a woman by the name of Leslie Parsons designed and created and now sells patterns for. And it is, oh, oh it's a wonderful, actually it, it's a sculpture is what it is. I think it's, it's a piece of art. Anyway, I was so entranced with this rabbit back before Christmas that I bought the pattern and I think I even printed the pattern out and then I forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. And a couple of days ago I came across it and I thought, you know, I wanted to make this hair for Easter. I don't have a lot of Easter decorations and I wouldn't even just have it for Easter. I think I would leave it out all year round. And so I cut the pattern out, the paper and put it together. It, when you print it, it's 10 pieces of paper and then you have to kind of uh, paste some or s stick some together to make one piece. So I cut the paper pattern out and um, it's quite different. I've done a lot of toy making and bears and I've done bears and rabbits and lambs and all kinds of different animals, soft toy constructions and dolls. And this is a little different because her idea is that you, it's supposed to be a scrappy uh, rabbit. So what you do is you cut out the patterns uh, from fabric that like a sheet or something, and then you stuff it. And then you take other fabric scraps, corduroy, uh, upholstery material, velvet, any kind of heavier fabric scraps and you hand stitch those onto the structure. So it's a little different than anything I've done before. She's also has wire inside of the body parts to give it some stability. So I've been kind of looking at pictures of people's cause there's, cause on her Instagram and on her Facebook page, there's a lot of people sharing how they've done their rabbits. And I've been watching this and I've already kind of changed how I'm going to do it. And and this is sort of what I do with patterns. I very seldom do a pattern the way it's presented. I don't know why I cannot seem to follow somebody's instructions to a T. I always got to change something because I think that I want to do it differently. And I, again, this is the case with Hendrix the hair. And the reason, one of the reasons why I was so attracted to this, um, hair is that years ago I bought something very similar and I'm just going to grab it. Just hold on I one guess second. I should show you a picture of Hendrix's hair before I go any farther. So here it is up here. Take a look at him. Isn't he lovely? So this is Charlie. This is the figure that I bought years ago and what attracted me to this was the colors and the patches. I love the quilted look of this animal. And that's sort of what attracted me to the hair as well. It looks not like this, but sort of like this. This piece is, I think, paper mache. He's, he's hard. And they it looks like they sewed a bunch of different uh, patches together and then glued it on to the animal and so this is a little bit different than the other one so i think it's time to cut out the the pattern 
on some fabric and get started on this and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you some of the fabrics that I have chosen for the patches on the rabbit. So let's go to the cutting table and get this cut out. So here he is all cut out. See how big it is? Look at the leg and foot. This is the, the two body sides, the body back, the ears, and this uh, four feet and the gusset and the tail. I cut the ears a different color and I'm actually going to change. This is one thing that I'm going to change. I'm going to cut this here and I'm going to recut this end part in this fabric. I have a little bit left of this fabric because I want to be able to, I, I don't want to have to put another part over this foot part because this is going to be a little bit different to cover. So I'm going to cut this end part of this foot in this same fabric as well as the four, the four foot or four arm or whatever you call it. I'm going to cut this one here and do the same thing because I'm going to want to embroider the toes. And I think it's just going to be too thick to go through if, if you have fabric, you know, like a, a one, you'll have like four layers of fabric then if you're going to put another one over top this. So I'm going to change that. That's one change I'm going to make. I'm just going to cut that here and then I'm just going to sew this on and then I will pattern him after that if that makes any sense. So those are the pieces all cut out. Now I'm going to show you some of the fabrics that I might I've got use. a lot of fabric here, but I think I've already nailed it down in my mind. I think I want to go with sort of these earth tone colors. And somewhere in here, I have some really nice upholstery. Here it is. Upholstery fabric. So this is kind of the thing I'm thinking of for my patches. I'm going to go with these type of colors. Um, I have this, this is all upholstery material here. This kind of thing. And I'm just going to make these my patches, I think, along this color line. This is sort of where I want to go. This is cotton. It's not particularly heavy, but going around the chin, underneath the chin and stuff, you're going to need something that's a little lighter because you're going to have to kind of um, sculpture it around uh, a round part. So I might use like a cotton for something like that. This is a piece of upholstery material. It's lovely stuff. As is this. For sure I'm going to use this because it's green on one side. And look, it's even got little birds on it. I actually never noticed that before. And it's on the other side, it's totally different. So I think this would be really nice. This might be really good for the head. And then this piece here, I love this piece and I'm so excited to have found this. 
This is exactly what I'm looking for. Actually, I made a bear out of this already and I sold it. It was a beautiful bear. And this is a piece of, of upholstery material. So these are the colors I believe that I'm going to go with. And I might add, you know, a little bit of something like that or um, something like this. I've done some sculpturing work with this piece already too, different piece. I have some odds and ends of velvets. I have this piece of a quilt that, you know, there's, there's little pieces of different colors of velvet I could cut up and incorporate in there. And then I thought that I might, though there's, here's another piece. This is another piece of upholstery material that is really nice. So I could maybe put this on something, you know, I mean, this has got lots of variation in it. And then there's things like pieces of, of a man's tie. You know, you can add those kind of things in very easily. And I have quite a bit of that kind of thing. So like this, this would go with the flowery kind of stuff. So I've got a lot of different, here's a piece of a dress and it's kind of a shimmery, um, material that and it's quite thick so I could use that another piece of velvet I really like this that could go into some place and then I have for the tail I don't know if I have enough but I have this piece of heavy fabric and I have a little piece of this faux lamb's wool so I don't know if that's what I'm going to do for the tail or not but that's why I pulled these colors well, there's another little piece of that. I could piece it together, I guess. So this is, I did pull a little bit of denim, but I don't think I'm going to use my denim for this particular rabbit. I think I'm going to stick with these browns and golds and greens and reds and these kind of colors. I think this is sort of what I want. And that's what's going to go with the ears. Now the ears, I was thinking what I might do is I might take this fabric here and I might cut out some of these, fussy cut some of these, and then applique them on here and then maybe do some embroidery as well. Like I've got all kinds of ideas, but now I just have to get sewing. So I'm going to sew this hair up and I'm gonna stuff him and I'm gonna work on the ears because I'm going to do all this before I sew them together. And I have to put the um, wire in the ears too. And then I'm going to change this and change that. And I'm gonna get them sewed. And then maybe next video I'll take of me putting the patches on so you can see where I'm at. Wish me luck. This is sort of, a totally different concept that I've ever done, but I'm really looking forward to doing something different like this for a change. I have a feeling that there will be several videos, maybe not in a row, but several videos on the making of Hendrix the hair. Um, if you're interested to see more about this this hair, there there is a Facebook page. I think it's called Hendrix Scrappy Hendrix or Hendrix Scrappy Hair and company or something like that. I'll, I'll find it and put the link below. And there's also an Instagram uh, account as well. I'll put both of the links for that below. And you can, if you're interested, you can get the pattern off of there too. And I'm not, I'm not getting any kickbacks from this. I just, I'm sharing, that's all I'm doing. So I think that's a wrap for today. And what I want to also say is a big thank you to all the new subscribers who have joined in the last little while. There seems to be a little bump up and that's always welcome. I know that um, YouTube, the more subscribers you get, the more they promote you. And I haven't reached a thousand subscribers yet, even though this is my 194th video. And so I'm just bumping along, which is fine. I'm, I'm not in it for the money or the glory or anything. I just want to share what I do with you. So I do 
welcome all the new subscribers and my old subscribers as well. And thank you also for your comments. The other thing I want to mention is there's, I'm going to leave the, from my last video, I was giving away the pattern for the red work um, sampler. Hold on, I'll grab it so that this is the sampler. It was a kit and I am finished it and so I am gifting the pattern away to somebody else. You, If you want to be included in that, that draw for the pattern for this, go back to last week's video and put a comment in there. Just put red work in something in your comment. The, the words red work, work have to be in, in the comment and um, I'll add you to the list of people to draw for this. You will only get the pattern this was a kit, so it came with the with the fabric and the thread, but obviously I've used that. So you'll have to source your own. If this is just Ada, 14 count Ada, and um, it was a variegated red uh, thread that came with this. Easy to source. So if you're interested in receiving this as a gift from me to you, then go back on last week's video and put a comment that says something about red work. And I also want to remind you that if you are interested in receiving the traveling Turkish spindle, let me know. Um, I have my contact information below, my email address for the Turkish spindle. You can just send me an email saying, yes, I would like to get that for a month or so. And um, as well, if you this is the first you're hearing about the Turkish spindle, Last week, I explained all that. I'm not going to really explain it again. So thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. And um, I will see you next week. Bye for now.